To start with that dangerous encounter between a CHP officer and a pedestrian on the 8 freeway. Yeah, this ended with the CHP officer being shot in the leg. Now, according to the CHP, that incident began while an officer investigated a crash along I-8 near the 805 about 6 p.m. yesterday. At some point during that investigation, the CHP says the officer got into a struggle with a pedestrian and was then shot in the thigh. The officer now in serious but stable condition. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes joins us live. Nate, still not clear why that pedestrian was on the freeway. Virginia, Jim, good morning. So we're hoping to get those details and more from CHP later on this morning because, yes, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. But following the crash, we're told that there were a few people who watched everything unfold out here that happened on Interstate 8. And we're told even some bystanders jumped in to help the officer and take down the suspect. Down 8 at Mission Gorge Road. It's for a CHP officer who was shot. There are bystanders who have the suspect cuffed with the CHP's handcuffs. There were some good Samaritans on scene and they did assist in uh, subduing the suspect, and we're very, very grateful for that. Now, CHP is thanking those who stepped in for their bravery in helping the officer after he was shot. Investigators say the incident all started with a traffic collision during rush hour on the eastbound 8. Now, around that time, people along the 8 started calling 911 about an officer fighting a suspect. According to the dispatcher, the man fighting the officer reached for the officer's gun, and CHP says one shot went off and the officer was hit in the leg. The eight-year veteran was taken to Scripps Mercy Hospital, and at last check, the officer is in serious but stable condition. And, of course, we are hoping to also get more details on his condition later on this morning. Live near Interstate 8, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.